According to the government, the jab is safe and effective. According to the government, your lucky charms and your Fruit Loops are healthy and safe. According to the government, McDonald's is healthy and safe. <laughs> According to the government, all you know, everything that's been recalled by the government has been deemed safe and effective and healthy at one, you know, at least healthy enough for human consumption at one point. But there is one thing that they claim is not safe for human consumption, and that should be heavily regulated and treated, you know, similar to a uh, drugs that you can make meth out of. And that is raw milk, the dangerous, the deadly raw milk on today's Tree of Liberty Society program. <laughs> Welcome back to the Tree of Liberty Society. We uh, encourage you to go to the Tree of Liberty Society.com and make sure that you are subscribed to our email list, subscribe to our text alert list in case emails go to junk mail. And because this video could be taken down, our channel could be taken down at any time, it is essential that you make sure that you go to our website because that is where the videos will always be. No matter what big tech does on any of the platforms, it's right there. Become a part of the solution. Support our efforts because we are trying to be silenced. They are trying to, anything that they can do to either kill or to put me in jail. And so support our efforts by going to the Tree of Liberty Society.com and becoming a member today and support our sponsors. Uh, but let's go into this. What's going on here? Let's let's look at this. There's legislation to make it even tougher, right? We, we already knew that in, in many states, raw milk is actually illegal. And in most states, that it's actually heavily regulated. When you have, when you, when you go to the, if if you get a cold and you're like, I need something a little bit stronger than some Mucinex, I need to get some Sudafed or something, you've got to go um, to the pharmacist and show them your ID, and uh, it's heavily heavily regulated because they claim that you can make meth out of it. I don't know, whatever. But um, and that's basically how they treat you. When you buy raw milk, as if you're buying something that you can make meth out of. Crazy. And so let's look at some of the, uh, the, the data that we have here on some key factors about raw, how, how raw milk is treated in the United States. We have here, uh, it is prohibited with some exceptions in Rhode Island. And in all of these red states, it is completely prohibited. You're allowed to buy stuff that you can make meth out of. You're allowed to buy McDonald's. You're allowed to buy junk food and corn syrup and all kinds of things like that. But raw milk is completely illegal in Montana and Wyoming and North Dakota, Colorado, Louisiana, Tennessee, Alabama. It's craziness. And then the orange it's permitted within state regulations, right? We get to regulate you on what you're allowed to, to do. And that's a, a big push right now. We have here this 2024 20, uh, report from uh, Food Safety News. 2024 food, in food safety is in the hands of the government, industry, and the consumer. And so they are really pushing the idea about raw milk. Let me just look this up. Um, another given for 2024 is that more people will fall ill because they drink unpasteurized raw milk. More children will become sick because their parents give them unpasteurized milk. Traffic deaths have many crying with fear. Over 30,000 people are dying each year. This modest change I propose must be applied. Unless, of course, you just want people to die. Not sick because they ate, you know, a bucket full of candy on Halloween. Not sick because they're eating nothing but uh, red dye number five and some Fruit Loops and Trick cereal. But because of the dangerous, out of control, raw milk. This is fact, not fiction. The fiction comes in the equation when raw milk proponents say raw milk is not contaminated and that cannot possibly harm you because people have been drinking raw milk for centuries. The fact is that the advent of pasteurization has been saving lives. And so this year in the state of Utah, 
Uh, we have a uh, Buckshot member, Utah Illuminati, Cheryl Acton, which was elected through originally through uh, literal rituals in a special election. Um, you can read more about uh, that in my books, uh, Invasions Volume 1 and 2, uh, in addition to other uh, such things of how the conspiracy invades your community um, at treeoflibertysociety.com or invasionbook.com. But they're seeking to uh, increase the regulation on milk, raw milk, in the state of Utah. They are uh, putting Utah on record of um, raw milk being dangerous. Raw milk, this is the statement, raw milk that they want to put on products Raw milk products, no matter how carefully produced, may be unsafe. They're not going to, I don't see that warning on anything else. The following individuals, I mean, I mean, besides cigarettes, so they're treating milk, raw milk, on the same level as cigarettes. The following, <laughs> the following individuals are at greater risk when consuming raw milk products. Pregnant women, the elderly, children under the age of seven, and those with a compromised immune system. Car deaths I mentioned are terrible stuff. Doesn't seem one seatbelt is ever enough. You must vote for my act so that fewer will cry. Unless, of course, you just want people to die. The statement that raw milk has not been licensed or inspected by the state of Utah. Raw milk, no matter how carefully produced, may be unsafe. Again, you have to put that warning on there. And in accordance with the act, uh, the Utah Administering Act, it says that uh, using... That you have to now use a third party testing laboratory as a part if you are a raw milk producer, obtain a sample result that meets the standards described in this legislation. A producer can receive assist and desist order from the department, shall stop their sale to uh, link a producer to a foodborne illness. The department shall notify a producer. So, all these different regulations that have to go upon it, um, going along with producing raw milk. The Department of Health and Human Services links a producer's raw milk product to the formula in this. The department may impose penalties. So an unelected bureaucrat is allowed to now punish you if they find, if somebody gets sick. Now, there's no fine, right? They just do recalls if your cereal makes somebody sick or if they get some E. coli and, uh, you know, some uh, broccoli that you bought from Costco or something. But raw milk has to have a warning as if it's the same level of dangerousness as a cigarette. Government control, the, the things that they, they mark as safe and effective, the things that they say are okay with no warning. There's no warning when you go and buy some kids' french fries. There's no warning when you buy children's cereal. There's no warning when you buy a candy bar chock full of uh, high fructose corn syrup. But raw milk, on the other hand, that we need a warning. We need a warning on raw milk. Just chaos is ensuing in this in all over the country right now because of the unregulated raw milk industry. These tyrants in office need to be stopped being treated legitimately. We must take a stand and take on go on the offense. This is this is just sticking and going on the defense and saying, no, we need to stop this is 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 not working because we're going backwards and backwards and backwards we need to start going on the offense and that's what we do here at the tree of liberty society and encourage you again to become a member of the tree of liberty society join the movement working to go on the offense to restore lost liberty um, and get the game plan get these three books uh, the uh, Invasions Volume 1 and 2 and Killing it, No Murder these are the things that show the plan show where we're at Help us to understand the situation that we find ourselves in. One of the best documented books out there on these things and the game plan on what we need to be doing about it as a general rule, not just with little things like bills like this, which which il help illustrate how illegitimate these would-be tyrants um, want to be, um, but to go on the offense. What do we do to go on the offense and take back lost liberty? I'm Ben McClintock, and I'll see you next time.